candidates should be able to describe melting and boiling in terms of particles of the water. Describe condensation and solidification in terms of particles of the water. Describe the difference between boiling and evaporation. Here is the graph that shows the relationship of change in temperature in degree Celsius and time in second of the water at sea level of atmospheric pressure. Between minus 10 and 0 Celsius, the water is a solid state as ice. At 0 Celsius, the water melts and becomes liquid. At melting, the temperature is constant because the ice absorbs all energy to break the intermolecular forces and separate molecules causing the potential energy increase, while kinetic energy of molecules are constant. Between 0 and 100 Celsius, the water is a liquid state. At 100 Celsius, the water boils and change becomes from vapor. At boiling, the temperature is constant, because the water absorbs all energy to break the intermolecular forces and separate molecules, causing the potential energy increase, while kinetic energy of molecules are constant. Between 100 and 120 Celsius, the water is a gas or vapor. Specific heat capacity of water is more than ice and the specific heat capacity of ice is more than vapor. This means that it takes more energy to raise the temperature of water by 1 degree Celsius than it does to raise the temperature of ice or vapor by 1 degree Celsius. This causes the graph between 0 and 100 Celsius is least steep and the graph between 100 and 120 Celsius is most steep. In reverse process, when a vapor at 100 Celsius removes the thermal energy and change states from gases to liquid, which is called condensation. At condensation, the temperature is constant because the gas removes thermal energy to create the intermolecular forces, causing the potential energy decrease, while kinetic energy of molecules remain constant. When a water at zero Celsius removes the thermal energy and change states from liquid to solid, this is called solidification or freezing. At solidification, the temperature is constant because the water removes thermal energy to create the intermolecular forces, causing the potential energy decrease, while kinetic energy of molecules remain constant. Boiling and evaporation. Boiling occurs when a liquid reaches its boiling point and continues to absorb energy to break the intermolecular forces and separate molecules. This causes the potential energy of the molecules increase, while their average kinetic energy remains constant and temperature also remains constant. Evaporation occurs when the most energetic molecules at the surface of a liquid break the intermolecular forces and escape from the liquid surface into the air. This leaves the low energies molecules behind, which causes the temperature of the liquid to decrease. The similarity between boiling and evaporation is the both processes to change states from liquid into gas. The difference between boiling and evaporation. Boiling occurs only at the boiling point of a liquid. While evaporation occurs at any temperature between melting and boiling points. Boiling occurs throughout the liquid, producing bubbles. While evaporation occurs at the surface of the liquid, temperature remains constant during boiling, while temperature decreases during evaporation. Factors that affect the, the rate of evaporation. Temperature, the higher the temperature, the faster the rate of evaporation. This is because there are more the most energetic molecules at the surface that can escape into the air. Surface area of liquid. The larger the surface area of the liquid, the faster the rate of evaporation. This is because there are more the most energetic molecules at the surface that can escape into the air. Wind speed. The faster the wind speed blows over the surface of liquid, the faster the rate of evaporation. This is because the wind removes the water vapor from the surface of liquid, allowing more water vapor escape. Humidity. The lower humidity, the faster the rate of evaporation. This is because there are less water vapor in air, allowing more water vapor escape. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would be grateful if you would subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends, 
and leave a positive comment. Your support will help me to continue making videos and encourage me to create new content. Thank you.